These are J2534 adapters which you use to diagnose your car with your smartphone. But unlike ELM327 adapter, these adapters will give you professional functionality same like you get with bi-directional scan tools. ELM327 works only with your engine control module and it has just global OBD, so very basic limited functionality. And with J2534 adapter you are able to do full scan of all modules, read live data in all modules, so it is also very good for diagnostic checks. You can check every system of car, verify mileage on your odometer by checking mileage records. You can do bi-directional testing, so activating different components in car just with your smartphone paired with one of these adapters and you can also use them for service procedures so first DPF regeneration, matching new throttle body, unlocking electronic brake calipers there are a lot of service procedures you must have in your scan tool if you want to perform service tasks on modern cars and even though they have a lot of common functionality there are also a lot of differences between them and that's why I bought five of them I will compare them in different categories so I will try every of them on three test vehicles I have here today we have 2022 Corolla, 2004 Punto and 2006 Renault Kango. I will try each of them on every vehicle and I will try to figure out which one is the best. Okay, I just tested them all and we can compare them in more detail but before I do that in case you are here just for a quick answer you just want to get one now. So if you need ECU coding, so unlocking hidden features, only adapter that can do it is ThinkDiag 2, although it is most expensive with most expensive subscription. ThinkDiag 2 and Mukar with basically same software are also most suitable for servicing because they will give you most service procedures and they also seem to be best when you are working with other vehicles, they got really nice vehicle coverage. Then I know a lot of you guys specifically want scanner without subscription, so in that case you can either take Xtool or Ancel Eco. Xtool seems a little bit more professional, a little bit more faster and easy to use. If I would pick one of these I would go with Xtool and then for used vehicle check I like most the top down top scan. It generates really good diagnostic report where you can even add custom photos you take and it's also very simple to use and now we can get to comparing them in different categories. Ok, so let's check out how these adapters did in different categories. Let's start with vehicle coverage. I tried each of them on different cars. I have some older cars here, I have a new car here, so I could get a really wide range of vehicles. Now, think the actor I already used for a long time and Mukar used the same software and I never had any issues connecting to literally any car and I tried like 50 plus cars, even old cars, even not common cars. So my vehicle coverage must go to Mukar and think the act too because it got biggest vehicle coverage of around 115 brands. This top scan and X tool I think they have like 80 to 100 brands and the worst vehicle coverage I would say is Ancel Eco. However the Ancel Eco is only one that allows working with third-party OBD software. So even though it doesn't have the biggest vehicle coverage I was at least able to extend the coverage a little bit with using different OBD2 apps. Now for the ECU coding, unlocking hidden features, only scanner that can do this is this ThinkDiag 2, this 4 cannot unlock any features. Next we have service procedures, this have to go to Mukar and ThinkDiag 2 offering 15 different service procedures, with Xtool and Topdown both gave me 8 service procedures and the worst was Ancel giving me only 3 service procedures. How easy is to use the tool? Now the Mukar and ThinkDiag 2, sometimes they can piss me off because it looks like they freeze and then you have to connect them again and it will end all of your diagnostic process and for easiest using device until also like wasn't that easy to use and as ease of use I must say the X tool A30 number one very easy to use I could find anything like it is really well made it doesn't try to have like all the functionality but the functionality it has it is really simple to use and then top scan was pretty also to use as well so I would say top scan was second best when it comes to how easy is to use the tool. Now for operation system coverage all of them works iOS and smartphone so that is the same. Now price and cost of updates Xtool and Ancel have free updates so you don't have to pay any subscription which is great and then Topscan Lite this is Topscan Lite they also have Pro Lite is $50 a year and Pro is $100 a year and then Mukar is $50 per year and ThinkDiag 2 
is around 95 or 100 dollars per year. So it has best functionality but also it has most expensive subscription and it is most expensive to buy. Now diagnostic reports. If you plan to do used car inspections with one of these, best was top scan definitely. Just check out this report. Very professional looking. All control modules even include your own pictures you can take. Then Fingdiac, Mukar and X-Tool. I mean pretty good looking reports. Cannot say anything bad. But Ansel, Ansel report like this really sucks. This is Ansel report. This is just like picture not looking professional at all. So my conclusion, I think I like the most the X-Tool A30 because it is easy to use, you don't need subscription and for DIY mechanic I think these are the two things we are looking for. Guys, I made free DIY diagnostics training which will teach you basic of automotive electrical circuits, diagnosing faults with basic OB2 scanners but also working with pro bidirectional scanners as well. Get it in the description, link is right there.